Hi guys, um, just a quick video on, after having several requests on how to set up, you set up the third axis um, controller that you get. Following on from the other video, um, I showed you how to uh, connect all the cables to the controller that comes from DYS. Um, now we're just going to go through on basically how you quickly set it up um, using the Alex Moss firmware and the GUI. Um, first thing you do is connect up the USB, um, select the COM port, uh, click connect, and you'll get the version of the board, the firmware that you're using, and you'll get some default settings in the PIDs. Um, you'll also see that accelerometers are not calibrated. Now the way I do mine is the same as probably everybody else now does theirs on, um, on the internet. You can see that uh, there's a um, six position. Uh, there's quite a few videos out there on how to do it, so I won't do a video on that. There's no point. Basically, um, you tape your um, sensor to a, a box, and um, you level it off because a lot of people were putting their finger on. As you can see, the sensor moving about there. But people putting their finger on the top, holding it down on a flat level surface and uh, trying to calibrate no you need to actually tape it to a box when when you actually tape it to the box you just do each six sides as you'll find other videos click calibrate and then you, there you go you see it's done the calibration now um, calibrate the gyros obviously it's got to be perfectly still when you do all this on a level surface and then as you'll hear there, right, I'm getting a few errors coming through here because I've got a motor connected to a, a sample board that I use uh, for testing. Uh, anyway, carrying on, um, once you've done your six um, sided calibration for your sensor, always when you make any changes, you do anything, always remember to click on the right button. Now, a lot of people um, contact me and they say, okay, I've got three third axis, three axis uh, brushless gimbal controller but you know the board's not showing up, it's not working or uh, you know the, the motors, there's no power going to the motor and then they send me a screenshot and this is the kind of thing I see, it's here, this is all greyed out. What you have to do is go into the advanced, under the more outputs you'll see disabled yaw, click on that, go down to yaw ex extended board click that and again then click right. Now if we go back you'll see now we have we can input settings here. Yeah. Right. The next thing I will go on to is RC settings. I'm not actually going to go into that too big a depth just now. Actions. On the new um, see we've got a battery handy here. On the new boards um, that come out with the alarm on them, um, what you can actually do is they've got a built in alarm. I just power this up. Um, probably have to disconnect and connect again. No, this one is not, this one has not got the, the alarm built into it. Um, what you can actually do is you can actually calibrate um, here the, the voltage um, and then you can, what you can do is um, you know you can tell it how, how much voltage in the alarm in the battery before the alarm goes off it's all self-explanatory um, but you must remember the buzzer that's connected to the new boards now um, you know if you've got an error then you want it to come up um, alarm obviously is one of your monitoring alarms uh, when you're calibrating it you know it'll give a beep commands it'll give a beep uh, the follow me mode now you click the follow yaw you must remember to click right now at the moment it's on more or less disabled the yeah, follow pitch yaw you click right again now at the moment, you probably, I don't know if you can hear that motor going about as I move. 
that's a yaw motor. Um, real time data is extremely useful. Um, I mean, as you can see, if I just tap the sensor here, just very, very gently, you'll see. So if you if you've got a motor that's just burring away a wee bit, you know, making slight noise, it will come through there, um, and it's very handy for tracking that down, eliminating. Again, um, under the advanced settings, uh, I've got it already set to it's well it's set to noisy as default. But your motors, if they're making a noise, um, click on high. Again, you must click right. That then will stop that burry noise that you hear um, in your board. Now I hope that helps. Um, I'll uh, it's just a, a, as I said a quick video on you know how to turn on the the actual in the software and the GUI how to turn on the, the the third access board and just basically going through the tabs and a few other settings to uh, go on. When I get more time uh, later stage, I'm um, hoping to do a, um, a video on how to set up, um, you know, some of the DYS uh, gimbals with the uh, cameras on them and the settings that, you know, help you start off with. Um, the other tab that is now working on um, the brushless uh, gimbal software from Alex Moss in the GUI is a flash upgrade. Basically, you just click browse, you know select the latest one um, which is 23.b5 I believe at the moment I'm making this video click open and then click flash um, I have nothing on this one so we'll just do it while we're it will upload there we go firmware complete update I'll click OK the board will reboot itself um, you need to go back in and connect again. Oh, before I forget, there's another one there. You can actually turn off the motors um, down here if you don't want your motors making a turn it off, and you can do whatever you want without everything jittering all over the place. Okay guys, as I said, hope this helps. Uh, it's just a little quick video on some of the, the, the settings. We'll go over again. Um, there's plenty of uh, videos out there to help you how to set up uh, the PIDs and everything. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.